everyone, my name is Lucy, and I personally have over 100 food allergies. I'm allergic to raw fruits and vegetables, nuts, shellfish, things with fur, pollen, grass, trees, and I'm sure I'm forgetting something. But since becoming more independent, I've realized how expensive it is to have food allergies. My medicine for both the allergy pills, Benadryl, and nose spray costs just under $100 a month. Then EpiPens, which expire 18 months from the date of manufacturing, can go from $50 to $600 for two. And you have to buy a two-pack in case one of them malfunctions in a crisis. So I can't have raw, raw sweet peppers, raw hot peppers, no raw tomatoes, no raw broccoli, no raw potatoes. If you feel like eating one, I couldn't. I'm allergic to all those plants, but that's okay. I can't eat raw lavender, that's sad. No pesto, because I can't have pine nuts. I can't have grapes that are raw. I can't have raw raspberries, raw plums, raw blueberries. I can eat mozzarella cheese, so not everything is terrible. I don't know what that is, but I probably can't eat it. No raw squash, if that's a thing people eat. I have to be careful with fruit butters, because sometimes they're not cooked enough, because that's when I can start to eat stuff, is once fruit's been cooked, then I can eat it. So I just have to watch out. None of this. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Allergy tax resulting in anaphylactic shock rose 377% from 2007 to 2016. Regardless of why allergy attacks are becoming more common, the Journal of American Medical Association estimated that for every child with food allergies, a family would spend up to $4,187, showing that the cost of allergies is tremendous. If we look at EpiPens, Milan, a global health care provider, drove up the price of EpiPens by $500 since 2009. Some parents have had to turn to asking their children's doctors to fill syringes with epinephrine since those only cost $20. However, using a syringe is dangerous since improperly injecting it into a vein rather than a muscle could be fatal. But for some use families, that is the only option. Most American families cannot afford the needed allergy medication. And while it is no secret that the American healthcare system needs to be revisited, the price of allergies needs to be addressed and soon. I'm Lucy Shea. Be sure to join the revolution at genfkd.org. Thank you.